Mercado Vial TV, un mundo de máquinas. Seguimos recorriendo con Expo. No podemos irnos del stand de Volvo porque ha presentado tantas novedades. Ya hablamos del camión articulado de hidrógeno eléctrico y ahora obviamente no podíamos no hablar de este prototipo también eh, eléctrico, 100% eléctrico, de cargadora frontal con un particular diseño sin cabina. Pero bueno, para hablar un poquito más de qué se trata, estamos acá con Jan, que es el Product Manager de esta línea de productos, que nos va a comentar un poquito de qué se trata. Jan, how are you? Hey, thank you, fine. Welcome to our booth. Can you tell a little more about this uh, wheel loader? Yeah, of course. This is one of our prototypes in our, we call it concept lab machines. So the green color indicates, unfortunately, you cannot buy this by now, but we're testing technologies in that. So we're using it as a kind of technology test bed for a lot of different stuff for autonomous functions. But also we make some things different here in this machine because we don't need an operator. It's an autonomous machine. You can also teleoperate this or remote control the machine. But in all these cases, you don't have an operator on the machine. And that means we can do things very different compared to conventional machines. So more or less since ever, machines are built around the human as an operator. So that leads to a design that is more or less same for every machine you see on the whole show. But if we don't need the operator inside, rather we have it outside and we will have humans around there on, on the side probably a very long time taking care of the machines and, and controlling the machines. of Servicing. On the machine itself, we can make things different. And we have here in this machine, we have a new joint introduced. So we call this the scissor joint or the scissor frame. And with this joint, we can move the complete upper structure It's a fully electric machine, so we have a battery, lithium iron battery in the back, acting as a part of the counterweight. And if we're approaching a pile in the position like we have the machine here, we can just lower the back and there's a force created in the front of the bucket by that. And this is a kind of pure mechanical regeneration. Yes, a, a kinematic uh, a regeneration from energy, so you lowering the tail, creating the breakout force in the front, then we calculate that we save uh, energy about a conventional machine in a whole loading cycle by doing that. At least in the first 30% of the loading movement from the bucket. And then of course we have some conventional hydraulic in the front to tilt the bucket even more. And we have some more advantages about that. So as we can raise uh, the tail even a little bit higher, we can reach a higher loadout, so we have a higher dumping with this smaller machine, so we can reach also on higher dumpers, for example. This is uh, built out an L25 platform, so it's roughly the same size. And the autonomy is, of course, depending on the application you do. If you're doing a heavy load and carriage work, we're talking about four hours, but continuous operation. That means if you're waiting for a truck or you have some idle time in between, that's not count to the to the working time itself. Usually machines in that size doing a lot of support work on general construction sites, on landscaping, and there you have a lot of idling and waiting time. So for this type of application, we can yeah talk about the whole working day, at least eight hours. We had an, uh, another autonomous machine uh, several years ago, the HX02. That was also a cream machine, an exploration machine before, but we industrialized this concept already. So you can come to Volvo, to a sister company, Volvo Autonomous Solutions, and they offering you a whole package with this Tara machines, as we call it, TA15. That's a 15-ton autonomous load carrier, a dumper. And yeah, they can come to your site, they can analyze your production cycle, adopt the machines to that and offer you the full package. So it's not only about the machines, of course, then we're talking about autonomous machines. We need site solutions, we need automation on site, we need connectivity, we need charging solution. And of course, it has to be adopted to the uh, application of the customer. So it's not just buying a machine, it's thinking about how the complete operation can be automated or parts of that can be automated and how it integrates that makes sense for the customer. So that's most important. In an autonomous machine, you have to have sensors, you have to have lighters or different solution cameras to detect the environment. You have to be sure that you detect obstacles that in the driving way that you have 
detect humans that may be passing away. So yeah, safety is for us most important of all. So when we deploy in a uh, solution, it has to be safe. Congratulations with these two equipment you have. Yeah, thanks a lot. And I really appreciate being here. We had a lot of good discussions with customers, with people from the industry. And I think there's a huge uh, pull for uh, feedback. Yeah, there's a good feedback and, and a lot of questions about automation solutions and also um, about electrification at all. Thank you, Jan. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you for the interview. Thank you.